Welcome everyone. Welcome to Let's Play. Oh. The mouse is still there. Why is it? There we go. Welcome back to Let's Play Spin Tires, the Chernobyl DLC. We are in well, Chernobyl, really. Um and we've taken some serious radiation damage in these pockets here. That wasn't very fun, especially this one. This was horrible. Over here, it was doing like 80 damage per tick. It was pretty darn bad. But it seems... Look at that. It seems like these radiation pockets are um, circular, if I'm not mistaken. It just seems like all of them are circular. So you can sort of guess where this radiation will will be so over here something like that this one's pretty big and i'm guessing the bigger the radiation circle the more radiation there is in the middle i don't know if there's a fallout like that anyway <clears throat> we're at the fuel station here we're going to fuel up so we won't have that problem i like the start of that all right who delivers fuel to this place here Hello, sir. I would like a full tank of uh, regular, please. There we go. And there's the fuel. All right, fueled. And I want 400 liters in our uh, trailer. The only unfortunate thing is you cannot really detach the trailer, can you? Oh, yeah, you can. Oh, so I can just bring the trailer somewhere where I need it and then refuel. Like, I'll leave it at the... Well, no, it, it should be like somewhere around here. If if I'll use the log kiosk and go like this to go to the objective. So I should leave it somewhere around here so I can refuel a couple times while, while going back and forth. I'll probably have to go back to the garages at some point, but that would be nice. Actually, now that I remember, I have to, I have to deliver eight logs to this objective and eight logs to this one, right? It's not just enough to deliver to one. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. All right, so there's a lot of water here, it seems, but I don't think it's like a river, so we should probably be able to just cross it and go straight there. Or I can just use the road. Yeah, yeah let's use the road. Oh, it's radioactive here. Hmm. I might want to go straight instead of... Oh, let's see. Yep, that's the start of it. Okay, that's not gonna be... Good. Let's let's try to skirt it. Skirt around it. Ouch. Yep, yep. Already taking damage. Ow. Yep, taking lots of damage, actually. Jeez. Went straight into it. Okay, it's falling off now. Sorry. I, uh, knocked down that radiation thingy. Let's see where we are now. Okay. Man, that's very annoying. It's right there. Alright, so, just go to the right here. It's getting dark as well. Oh, that, that rot looks... Whoa, 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 whoa! Bloody hell. Also, let's repair. Okay, now we can see. It's actually two-wheel drive. Normally. And now it's gonna be six-wheel drive. Yeah. Alright. I don't like the look of this rut, but we do have... We can still lock the differentials. We can go to low gear. I think we should be fine. Oh, this looks bad. Oh, this looks really bad. But look at this. Without, without the differential lock, we still got quite far. Okay. Power! Yeah, look at that. Not struggling, really. Just going a little bit slowly. Look at that! That's awesome! Whoa, whoa! Um... Okay. Um... Um... Yeah. It's, uh... Yeah, no, no menu either. Right, let's go back to the main menu. It's gonna save it. Um. Yeah, that's uh, that's quite nice. 
if I click continue, oops, spin tires crashed. Son of a... Well, that was a bit of a rude surprise. It um, crashed. Yeah, it was not very nice. All right, so let's go here. We got through, but that was very, very, very weird. And it's um, getting quite dark now. All right, so let's try to... Jeez, where is this thing? Okay, I guess we'll have to go around here. That radioactive area might be there. Hmm. Could we go... We could sort of go up there, couldn't we? It's a little bit dodgy there. But well, let's see. Come on. Yeah, that's... Ooh. That's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to do low gear. Alright, let's go for low gear, differential lock, all-wheel drive. And I might need a bit of help with the winch. But jeez, this thing is actually... Ooh, did I beach it? I might have beached it. This thing is actually really good. Ah, perfect. Alright. Yeah, no problem. Look at that. No problem at all. Let's go to normal. Still have all-wheel drive because I need to pull the trailer up. Actually, go back to low gear, diff lock, come on. I wanted to say it's a little too heavy, but no, not really. This thing does a fine job. Look at that. This thing is a monster. Perfect. All right. No. I'm going to shut off the engine because I I don't want to use mo uh, the fuel. I'm probably going to leave the trailer here. Most likely. There. I'll leave it here. How do I attach it again? I don't know. Maybe you need to uh, start the engine. and you know. Alright, so. Now we want to... Oh, there's cloaking here. What? I thought we've already already done that one. Well, there was cloaking here. But I guess there's cloaking there as well. Alright. Well, let's go here and here. And then we'll see where we're going. That looks like a big sort of lake there. Well, that wouldn't make sense. There should be a lake and a river here. Or just a river here. Um, next to the power plant. Alright. <laughs> oh, is it raining? Oh, okay. It's raining now as well. The perfect Chernobyl environment. Yeah, this is... Ooh, this is going much faster now without the trailer. I say that as we bog down, but I'm not going to engage 6x6. Six six. I keep saying all the drive. But it's not really. Yeah, power! And if I shut this off... I do like that a lot. Um, they used to have this... Um, effect... Where if you turn on the lights, everything sort of darkened. Wow, look at that! It's like a... It's like a mind thing, isn't it? Oh. Alright. So now we want to go back here. And... Here, there's the objective. And I'll try to get to that cloaking area there. Alright. It is dark. And full of terrors. I don't want to see any bloodsuckers around here. I really don't. Power! Don't need 6x6 six six yet. We're fine. Because, see, this is 6 liters per minute, and 6x6 six six is 14-ish. So, yeah. Definitely don't need it just yet. We're fine. We might be moving slightly faster with 6x6 six six here, but it's not worth it. 
What is that? Oh, jeez! That's some deep mud, and we're still moving just by with two-wheel drive. That's insane. Look at that. We're actually... What the hell? All right, now we need all... Um, six by six. These looks... These look like some sort of pools they've dug out. What's... What is that? Alright, switch off all, um, 6 by 6 What is that? Is it like a farm? No, not here, right here, next to the power plant. And they wouldn't be areas where they would, uh, where they would have buried those... ...core rods either. I think they did that, like, in a, in a park somewhere in... Was it like in Pripyat or somewhere? I can't remember. There's an area which they dug out to... ...to bury... Um, ...to bury the rods in from the reactor. Um, but I cannot remember where it was. It's very fascinating. And I did enjoy the Chernobyl series, despite the fact that there was a lot of inaccurate scientific information in there. Like the whole, you know, oh, uh, if the, if the radioactive material reaches the water, it'll blow up and the entirety of Europe will be uninhabitable and blah blah. No, no, that's, <laughs> that's a little bit ridiculous. I mean, you know, kudos, huge kudos to those, uh, where's the, where's the objective, actually? It's right over there. Um, but we need to keep going to that cloaking field there. Yeah, kudos to those divers, of course. Man, I don't know if I had the guts to do that. But it wasn't... You know, it wasn't such a life and death situation. I, I, I mean, I suppose it could have uh, poisoned the groundwater or something, but it wouldn't have just exploded. There would be a lot of steam and such, but it wouldn't explode. If you want an explosion, you need a pressurized compartment of some sort at extre extreme pressures to actually blow it up. Come on. There we go. Oh yeah, wait a second, that was just my nap point. We need to actually move to the cloaking thing. There we go. Alright, let me stop the engine. Okay, so we've actually uncovered all of this now. There's still more cloaking down here. Lots of stuff down here. But what we could do... Well, actually, we've uncovered most of this upper part of the map. But there seems to be a lot more cloaking things down here. Uh, so what I think we'll do is we will start delivering to this objective. We'll go back to the garage and we'll start delivering. And then we'll move on to the uh, southern part of the map. So let's go back here onto this road and hopefully not have too much radiation around here. And we'll see. There we go. Because you can see that the uncovering the cloaking things uncovers the map, but it doesn't actually uncover where the pockets of radiation are. All right, start the engine. But yeah, uh, otherwise the um, the what's going on? Oh, no. Otherwise, the series, the Chernobyl series, was quite enjoyable. Okay. So this is where we need to go. Actually, I did a... S well, no. I wanted to say I did a silly thing by using the repair points from this thing on top of our truck instead of the trailer. We were... Oh, jeez. Yep, yep. I saw that. Oh, we actually <laughs> knocked it over. Uh, but no, now that I think about it, that's going to be good. Because now we have the trailer there with fuel and repair points if we need them. For the log truck. Or for the logging! Woo! That was, uh, interesting. Wow, look at the fog and such. That's pretty cool. 
I cannot believe how well this thing is moving with just two-wheel drive. Now, this isn't really very soft. Well, it is. Look. I am surprised. This thing is a beast. Very happy with this truck. And I still don't know what the exact differences are between those trucks. When you can pick them in the beginning. I'm sure you can uh, Google it. And the garage should be very close now. Which way do we need to go? Oh, just forward. Well, there's tree stumps here. I don't want to lose the momentum, but I do have to go a little bit... What the hell is happening? What? Those tree stumps are disappearing and now reappearing. That was weird. No radiation yet, which is good. Oh, that... Okay. It's closed. There might be radiation here. I'm not sure. No? Oh, this is perfect. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want that. Jeez. Don't want diff lock. I forgot that uh, that's high gear uh, with 6x6 and diff lock and all that. If you want to go fast, just have it in this automatic mode. Come on. Sorry. Oh, really? It's going too slow, apparently, to knock it over. Okay, I need all the... 6x6. Uh, six six. Come on. Ugh. I think we have more fuel than uh, they will refill here, though. Alright. Yeah. Didn't really refuel any. Okay, so now we'll be going for the log kiosk. Kiosk. Uh, we will do it like this. We will skirt this area. Go around here and get to the log kiosk. But this is the thing still. I'm guessing there will be a, a crane there. Because... We haven't found any of the trailers around here. I mean, any other trucks. So, let's get rid of this. I wish this wouldn't be in the way. Uh, flatbed for two logs. Log card for four. There we go. But this one doesn't have the... Hmm. Medium log card four. Perfect, look at that. So that's four plus four. Seriously? Medium logs, four points, because we only need eight points. I thought this would only give you six points. What? So the garage flatbed trailer is two short logs. Medium log card is four logs. Yeah. Okay. We can have it all. Nice. All right, let's try to get there, uh, there to the log kiosk. That's oh, showing us another log. Oh, yeah, showing us all the log kiosks now. Um, and we'll get to the objective. I'm actually surprised. These log kiosks are pretty close to the objectives. I'm still not sure how we're going to be loading the logs there, though. But we'll see. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you are enjoying this as much as I do uh, playing it, because I do. Give this video a like if you like it, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.